so today is Sunday, November the 21st, and I am about to go to the grocery store because I am film. I mean, not filming. I am um, hosting my first Thanksgiving dinner. So, this vlog is pretty much going to be wrapped around that because I really don't have too much other stuff going on this week. If, I, if something does come up, then so be it. But then again, I don't want this vlog to be super long either, right? So, I'm not going to go... Um, I'm not going to record in the grocery store. I might get a little a few clips. But anyway, right now... I right now i am about to write down my list of what i need to get from the grocery store because you guys our limit is 300 dollars. that's it okay because food costs two y'all okay i have mentioned this a lot on my instagram i picked up a pack of bacon that it was nine dollars nine dollars so i don't want to get like i just don't want to overdo it you know especially just for one day so um, I'm going to go ahead and write a list and how I am going to do my list is pretty much I'm going to write down everything that like every meal that I'm going to cook and then what I need to get for that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm right now I'm just writing it on a blank white sheet and then I'm going to transfer it over to my grocery list pad because you'll see why you'll see why so as far as meat we're doing turkey chicken wings um as far as sides mac and cheese my mom is doing the yam so i don't need to worry about that mashed potatoes collards stuffing cornbread i was going to like buy some cornbread from this place here that i really like their cornbread but where is that? It's just too much of an inconvenience. I ain't got the time. So cornbread. Um, also, I need to get drinks. And I want to make a adult beverage. So adult drink. Am I thinking of everything? Deviled eggs. Don't nobody eat no cranberry sauce. Alright. So I got my little list here as far as what I need to get. And so for the turkey, I pretty much need, well, we're making it in the oilless fryer. So I pretty much just need the seasoning for that. Seasoning, chicken wing, seasoning, and of course the wings. Oh, do I need flour? No, I don't need flour. Maybe oil. So I need oil. Mac and cheese, noodles, cheese milk eggs which i really shouldn't have to get the eggs because i i don't know i just get eggs um sweet milk i think that's it mashed potatoes potatoes milk oh something my ah butter which i already have I gotta see. Collars. I ain't never made. I haven't made collars or stuff. And so I don't know. Cornbread drinks. Okay. All right, y'all. So I'm about to go downstairs, change it to my grocery list pad. I'm going to show y'all. And then we going to get it going. end up spending 270 my goal was 300 270 so now it's time to put it up hey you guys so behind you going line it is the day before oh i don't have my seatbelt on hold on so it's actually cold outside today 
Um, right now it is 40. Is that cool? Because I got a whole chinchilla on. So today, it was dark. You know what? What I'm trying to figure out is why does my camera always get dark? Like, it adjusts to the light. How do I stop it from doing that? Do anybody know how? Because... I be seeing other people, like I be watching other people when they're in the car and their camera do not be adjusting like this. My camera, like it be making me look real, can't even see me half the time. But anyway, I'm on my way. First I gotta go to Roses, then I gotta go to TJ Maxx. I have to get out, of, actually I have quite a few to do, quite a few things to do today. I need to, I need to go to, what time is it? Lord, see my mind is all over. Let me plug my phone up. Jesus. I rebuke that because I've been noticing a lot more lately that my mind has been like that. Like literally yesterday, I went in a daggone closet. I went in the twins closet to go get something, right? Then I was like, oh, the closet is a mess. So I literally sat there and cleaned out the entire closet when I was originally supposed to be going there to get something. And then I don't even think I got what I was supposed to get. Anyway. Today, I'm gonna focus when I'm talking. Okay. So today, you guys, today I have to go to Roses because I need to get the aluminum pans that you put the food in. And I also need to get like the, I don't, I'm not sure what it's called, but you know, like the little, the canister, the fire in the little canister that you put under the food to keep it warm. At first I was, I was like, mm, I don't really need that, but I do need it because you know, like if somebody want to go back for seconds or something like that, I don't want people to have to heat their food up. So I need to get that. Then I need to go to TJ Maxx to get, um, what do I need to go to TJ Maxx for? I feel like I needed to go in there for more than one thing. This is why I need to write a list. I know for sure that I need to go to TJ Maxx to get, they had these little pans. Oh, okay, I remember. So I need to go to TJ Maxx to get the, the muffin pans, but they have these specific muffin pans in there where it's like small, like you can make like miniature muffins. And I, I wanted to do cornbread, um, cornbread muffins because I was gonna get it from this place that here is here locally. But I just don't feel like having to go through all of that. I really don't. So I prefer to just make it and make it at home. I'm so sorry, y'all, for the light to keep going in and out. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, okay? I can't help it. I don't know. I don't know. But, <laughs> um, so that's what I need to get from TJ Matt. But I also need to get some, um, glasses. Like, some glasses to make the cocktails in. I seen they had some there and it wasn't pricey at all. I want to say it was $4.99. I don't can't remember. I think it was only for four though. But I don't need that many. What I'm gonna do, I'm pretty much gonna like I guess make it for however many adults it is. I probably need to get two of those. I have to in the in the midst of all of that, after I go to Roses and TJ Maxx, I have to go to get Kaylani from my sister's house. She was at my sister's house because my sister did her hair. And Khalil is with his dad. He has a doctor's appointment today. Khalil goes to the doctor because he's not, he goes to the doctor on a weekly basis because he doesn't really want to take the, he doesn't want to get fed off of the spoon. He will not like open his mouth for it. So they're pretty much trying to like teach him how to do it. Right now, at first he wasn't taking baby food at all. Like he just would not take it. But what I have learned, you know, just trying different things. I noticed that when I put him in my lap, and feed him like he usually take the baby food i don't know if y'all ever seen it but not the ones that's like in the little container but ones that's in the pouch so if i squeeze it in his mouth he'll take it that way which he actually like one of them he likes that has like yogurt he like the one that has variety and i think this one has raspberry yogurt vanilla something else in it but i can't remember it's like four different things Oh no, now I go to nine. Say daddy calling me, I'm mad at him. Hello. Hey, baby. What's up? <laughs> hey, baby. What's up? Okay, y'all, so I'm in 
roses. Four. So I need like eight. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the pans. Let me see. Should I get these on? No. They really don't have that much. Probably because I waited till the last minute. Yeah. So I'm gonna come pack for two, four, six. Let me just get two more of this. Two, six. Okay. Two. Right, your phone number. <laughs> how you doing? Hi, how you doing? When I go to TJ Maxx, I'm gonna use my phone because I just don't like like it's just too much going on with this jacket. I don't wanna keep taking the jacket on and off. It's just too much. It is cold outside, but that's why I really don't be wearing jackets because I'm like, listen, unless I'm going to be outside, I'll be all right until I get from the door to the car and from the car to the stove. I'll be okay. But I'm on my way to TJ Maxx. I got what I needed out of um, Roses. Thank the Lord. They still had some in stock and it was not packed in there. So hopefully TJ Maxx is not too packed. I had to end up paying two dollars so the so the pans were two dollars for two so a dollar each and then the i didn't even look to see what they called i'm tired of calling them the little fire thing did i miss my tire because i feel like i did oh no i didn't chafing oh oh shafers oh shafers that's what i think they call because it said gel shaping fuel or is the shafers what you put fuel okay i got the fuels and i got eight of them i when i wrote down exactly how many like pans i need I, I had seven but i just got eight just to make it an even number just to have one extra so yeah when i get to tj maxx though i don't know if i'm gonna record too much because them people this tj maxx is more in the non-black people area just you know just to say it that way but and they be following people around in there which is weird because you would think i don't know anyway but i guess they feel like people be stealing so they be following you around but it's not the workers they have people in there that's acting like shoppers but they're really not shoppers and they be following you around so i thought maybe when i went in there it just was you know that day that person would follow me around my mom and sister went inside there too and it was the same thing they were following them around so i'm assuming that that's just what they do so i'm gonna go in there and i'm not gonna take my camera because the camera already brings too much attention to me people be looking like what is she doing i don't like that one more stop before I go get baby girl. TJ Maxx. These will be good enough. Okay, these are these is what I was looking for right here. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna get two of these. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. 
y'all the glasses that I picked up would you believe that when I was leaving out one of the one of the glass one of the thing of the glasses that you know I brought two tell me why I fell out the cart and broke all over the deck on sidewalk but luckily they had one other one left so they let me get that one so I'm about to pick up Kaylani. I'm trying to rush because I'm actually running late. My sister says she need to leave the house by 11.30. And it said I'm going to get there at 11.36. Hey, y'all. So, it's much later. I'm just about to talk to y'all real quick. I'm driving to go meet my friend. We're about to go to eat some seafood. But, oh! I think that was an animal. Lord. I just want to update y'all. So, I'm already feeling hectic, y'all, which is what I did not want to feel, feel, um, while, you know, like, prepping to prep, I can't even talk. I'm already feeling hectic, which is what I did not want to feel while prepping for Thanksgiving. I just feel like it's just all over the place right now, and I was forgetting stuff, like, for example, I was in Dago Food Line, you know, getting, um, some recipe, some ingredients that I missed out for the stuffing. So I was in full line, then I'm in the line and I'm up next and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't even have plates, you guys. Do you know how bad it would have been if I would have cooked all of that food and didn't have plates? So I had to get plates, forks, and spoons. And we still don't have any like um, paper towels or napkins, so we're gonna have to get that. And I just literally remember when I was laying down because I had laid down and took a nap because I honestly wasn't feeling good, y'all. My sinuses have been kicking my tail. I have really, really, really bad sinuses. And um, it's so bad to the point where, like, when I wake up in the morning time, it's like I got to constantly, like, if you ever watch my vlogs, I kind of cut it out sometimes. Sometimes I don't because I do it in the middle of me talking and it just messes up the flow. But I be like... And I do that all the time, but like when I wake up, when I wake up, it used to be so bad that my best friend um, from like elementary school, she like when I would stay the night with her, she would literally go sleep in another room. That's how bad it was. So it's still like that. And I be waking the twins up and I noticed that lately it's been really bad, but I was taking Flonase. Um, I, I take Flonase, which is like squirts up your nose. And that was really helping me. But then I stopped, I ran out. And Flo, if anybody know, Flonase is not cheap. It's like 20 something dollars for like, you know, this little thing that you squirt up your nose. So anyway, I had to go get some of that today. And I also got some um, Zyrtec. Zyrtec isn't cheap either. It's like stuff you need ain't cheap. But so, what was I saying? Oh, I wasn't feeling good, so I lay down and took a nap. When I got up from my nap, it hit me that I don't have a deep fryer. I needed a deep fryer because I bought two bags of chicken wings. I just wanted another meat alternative than the turkey because me personally, I really don't care for turkey too much. So, I wanted an alternative to turkey. So, that was the alternative or whatever. Um, yeah. And... So I had, we had to go find a deep fryer. So I found one on Walmart, right? And it said it was like six quarts, but it was like $23. And it said normal price, it was 40. It was on sale for 23. So I'm like, you know how something too good to be true? I'm like $23 for six quarts? Because this is what I was thinking. Every other, um, every other, now that I think about it, I don't know. It's just the way that they was doing the sizing, like the measurements, because I was comparing it to like actual deep fryers, and the deep fryers would be like a three quart, whatever, stuff like that. But now that I think about it, I think it said three liters. The measurements online, it was saying like the deep fryers were like three quarts. And I'm like, okay, so it's saying that it's three quarts and then the one that was $26 on sale, but the, the three quart ones were like $60. So then it was saying the six quart one was 23 and I'm like, what? That don't even make sense. 
So I was like, babe, come on, let's get up and go to Walmart and see. Y'all, we got there. First of all, that six quart thing, you probably could fit about four chicken wings in that thing. So, no. So we end up getting the, um, uh, I think it's a 4.7 liter deep fryer, which was $60. So we end up getting that. So yeah, it just was like, I really had a slow moment because I'm like, but I think it's Walmart fault because they didn't have it listed. Like they didn't have like quart and liter listed, right? They said that the, they said that the deep fryer was three quarts, not three liters. So anyway, we got everything that we needed and now I am just like trying to mentally prepare myself, decompress. I don't want to stress out. So when I wake up tomorrow, I definitely want to prep as far as like, okay, how am I going to do this? Like, what order am I going to cook in? Like, what am I going to cook first? Because I know it can easily get overwhelming. Um, something like the double eggs, I know that I can kind of like, probably I could do the double eggs first get that out the way because you could put that in the fridge and it's good um so i could probably put those on as soon as i wake up and go ahead and start prepping that um he is going to cook the turkey in an oilless turkey fryer which i told y'all that before so the turkey pretty much just needs to be um the turkey needs to be like seasoned and my mom is making the yams as far as the macaroni and cheese macaroni and cheese is easy mashed potatoes the most the most that's going to come out of that as far as like having to prep for that is just cutting you know cutting the skin off which that's not hard it's just time consuming and then the collard greens that's the only thing i'm kind of worried about because i never cook collard greens the collard greens and the stuffing those are two things i never cooked before and i don't want to mess it up especially with the stuffing because i do not like no dry stuffing but i also don't want my stuffing to be too wet so i never made it before so i was watching this little um youtube video and she was you know just explaining how to cook it and stuff like that and like she was using stuff like cream of chicken cream of celery y'all i have never even touched none of those so i'm gonna have to watch the video when i wake up and follow step by step but i got everything that she said i needed so it, i should be okay i should be okay so that's the plan you guys and yeah but right now i'm about to go eat me some food okay I'm about to go eat me some food. I'm about to enjoy myself and not worry about everything that's going to come later. He was definitely trying to get me to not go out tonight, but guess what, honey? <laughs> All right. Hey, you guys. Good morning. So today is Thanksgiving Day, and I'm going to go ahead and prep the rim of the glasses that I'm going to use to make my cocktail. Now, I did have limes, but I left the limes at my mom's house. So, I looked online and they said that you can use honey, which I need to explain. I got some honey, right? The honey expire. Let me see. So, I already washed my hands. So, I'm going to take one of the twins' bowls <laughs> and I'm going to mix the. I'm using cinnamon and sugar to coat the rum i got this recipe from naturally sunny um so but she used it as a mocktail so she, cinnamon and sugar is what's needed so i'm gonna go ahead and mix this together and then after i mix it in here really good i'm gonna put it on an actual plate It also said um, online that if I do use honey to coat the rum, it actually gives it more of a sweeter taste. So that probably will be good. Now everybody don't drink alcohol like my mom, she don't. So I'm gonna make a mocktail for her, but you know, for all of us others, <laughs> I got some vodka that I'm gonna mix in it.
guys so next up I'm gonna go ahead and do the boil it well the double eggs I said I'm gonna do that first because I can go ahead and put them in the refrigerator and just let it you know sit in there my sister taught me to um, put sugar I mean not sugar salt in the water so that it'll be easier to crack the eggs so I'm gonna go ahead and do that
Okay, y'all, so I know I have not shown my face this morning at all. This is how I'm looking when I'm cooking. So, he's gonna go get the paprika, but that's pretty much it as far as the double eggs. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, um, we have a sink full of dishes. I'm waiting for the dishwasher to get done so I can load it up with another load. I'm gonna wait on him to get the paprika, which he shouldn't take long because the store is not that far. So once he does that, then I'll put him in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna let that boil and then put the noodles in once it start boiling. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting the potatoes and then put them in water so they won't get brown. Well, I finished cutting up the potatoes and now I'm just got them soaking in water. I don't want to make them too, too soon because dinner is at five, it's 1.30 now. I'm going to go ahead and put the noodles in the water slash broth. I got two, I'm going to make two pounds of macaroni and cheese, so I got two of the elbow noodles. I'm going to go ahead and let that marinate. And... So as you can see, I have the chicken thawing out right here. Honestly, to be honest y'all, I forgot all about the chicken. I literally was sitting on the couch nine o'clock this morning and I was like, oh my God, it's a chicken. So it's been thawing out, but it's pretty much thawed out now. So I should be good. The seasoning that I like to use to season my chicken is this right here. It's the original spike. Can y'all see that? <laughs> Come on, focus on me. Come on. This is the seasoning that I like to use. It's by Chef Tina Lee on Instagram. It is so good, you guys. Like literally, literally, this seasoning is so good for pretty much anything. But I don't have any more. It's like a little bit left, a little bit. So she does list the ingredients, which I can't make some of this stuff. But I'ma just take what she have in here um, and like, try to yeah so we just gonna mix something together <laughs> huh In the meantime, let's go see what Papa is doing you know, with this turkey. Cool. Let me not out there here in the front. Oh. Well, let's peek at the turkey then. Lord. There it go. There it go. Can this come off? Gonna... <laughs> Let me get the hell away.
montage of the food. But I'm we waiting for it to heat back up. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the drinks. I got my limes here. So wait. Let me put the ice in the cup first. How many of us we made this Okay. So And it got ears. Swipe or no swiping. Yeah, yeah. What? What type of animal is swiping or no swiping? Swiping. Dora. What kind of animal is he? I don't know. What? Okay, so what are we having? No, no, no. If you go to a restaurant and they usually only have half off drinks at a certain time, what is that? Happy hour. Yes. <laughs> what do you, you do this to like get you like, like, the, food, like uh, yeah. to wanna you know, know to wanna have sex? So, <laughs> the, but what comes it's before that? Four four play. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Skip that one. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, girl, you keep doing it. Where do we go? Oh, oh I was skipping more than once. Yeah, no, no, come on. You do this. It's a, it's a thing. It's a round thing, and you go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you pass oh, it. You, you gotta go down. Go down. Okay. Um, Wait, girl. Don't do it no more. Okay. I got the olives. You hear me? <laughs> what? <laughs> I got the, mm -mm. Um. No. This, no. When you just. Master P. I got the Master P. <laughs> she, she's too young. <laughs> <laughs> I got the on everything. Nah. What? <laughs> if, if, if you look at, if you okay, if you try to buy some shoes that's out of stock, and I'd be like, yo, I know somebody that got the. Uh, but no, what's up? Plug. What's the? What came before plug? Yeah, before yeah, plug yeah, was yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the, is Kim Kardashian famous for? Her sex tape. Yeah. Yeah. Mardi Gras. This is where they do Mardi Gras. Where they do Mardi Gras at? Young boy. <laughs> 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 I appreciate that, okay? Oh, people say. Okay, what is this? Oh, a toe touch? <laughs> 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 
No, it's natural. What is this? Okay, so sometimes people on OnlyFans like like men be like in the Yes. <laughs> Down. Okay, say for instance, um okay, so it uh, it's I can't, a boy and a Okay, and then I put this in to get in my man's password. No password, but his Okay, messing with your friend, man, is against what? Girl code. Yes. <laughs> Girl, we don't even know who this is. I know who that is, but I don't know what he's playing. I mean, I can't say what he's playing. Okay, you When do you get drunk, you start to do this at night. If, if, if you was messing with somebody, you start... Well, I can't say it. It was texting. I said it was shoot Sarah. What are you doing, man? Alright, what? Hello, you gonna be alright? Nah, I'll take care. I'm gonna touch that. What are you doing? What's going on with you? And I just wanted to do like a recap because I know like the last little clip that y'all saw was us playing heads up. Um, as far as how everything turned out, I really enjoyed. I just, I got a story for y'all, but I want to. Um, I really enjoyed the the whole Thanksgiving night. I love spending time with family and us just getting together, playing games, just enjoying each other's company. So that was just just you know everything that i could have wanted um as far as the food everything was good except for the collard greens you guys and i actually deleted that clip of me cooking the collard greens because it was my first time cooking the collard greens i was trying to go off of my what my sister was telling me via um the phone and i end up not really cooking the bacon like i was supposed to cook it and then as i didn't have the seasonings that she had so i tried to like finesse with my own seasonings and it just won't well, good so it, that was not good but as far as the stuffing the stuffing was actually good and that was my first time cooking the stuffing so i'm glad that that turned out good everything else turned out great we played games and um then I do want to tell y'all. So right before we was about to cook, right, me and my mom were lighting the the fuel things that go under the aluminum pan, and I was lighting one of them. And when I was pulling away, like I lit it, and then I pulled my hand away from it, and my nail hit the um. It's like a. It's like a a metal holder that the aluminum pan sits in and then on the metal holder they have like a little slot for the fuel canister so it can keep the food warm so my nail had hit one of the wire things on the metal holder i'm trying to explain it the best way i can and it knocked the fuel onto the freaking floor you guys when it knocked it on the floor the island the wall of my island caught on fire right not the whole wall but where it fell at that was on fire so we sitting here screaming put it out put it out trying to figure out what 
to do. <laughs> we could not. We 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 sit here trying to find stuff to put it out with. You know, like when you it tell you in that situation, you really don't know. It's like you just panicking and trying to think. But luckily, I um the sink was right there, so we do have a fire fire extinguisher under the sink. So I grabbed that. Then I'm like, well, shit, they, the thing had like a clamp on it. So I'm like, I don't know how to get this off. But luckily, my boyfriend knew how to get it off. So he got it out. And one little spray put it out real quick. But it made the, um, I'm not sure what that is in the fire extinguisher. But whatever is in there to make fire go out, it like spread everywhere. So the good thing is the wall is not damaged it probably got a little like burn mark but it's nothing that you really can see unless you're looking for it and it didn't like mess up anything else and it didn't spread so that's a good thing but y'all that was so scary um so yeah we just played the games had some drinks and then i ended up going to slate okay so that was my thanksgiving <laughs> adventure and i will say for next time that i host thanksgiving it's a couple of things that i'm gonna do differently i'm definitely gonna prep more as far as prepping the food so i won't have to worry about trying to do this and trying to do that because there is a lot and i'm also going to play with recipes like just cook a small amount of stuff before thanksgiving come so that i can know what i like and what i don't like because usually i cook my macaroni a certain type of way but the way that i cooked it last time I'm, it wasn't nasty at all like i cooked three pans and they all was gone but it just wasn't it wasn't given what it has it just it wasn't like I don't know. I'm used to my macaroni tasting a certain type of way. Like, I use the sweet and condensed milk, which give it, like, kind of a sweet taste, but not overly sweet. It just, it makes it taste good. And it just, I really couldn't taste that like I wanted to. So, I don't think that I used enough of that or the other ingredients that I added into it this time may have overpowered. I don't know. So, you know how they say Thanksgiving is not a time to try new recipes? Also, as far as the collard greens, I'm going to have to buy me a pack of collard greens and practice on that. So next time I will know, you know, exactly what to do. Because that right there was just, the greens was not good. I mean, ain't nobody said that they was nasty. But one of the kids was like, I ain't going to be, they was like, I'm not trying to be mean, but the greens taste a little weird. <laughs> so, you know, kids don't hold nothing. So at least they were nice about it, right? And then say, oh, they nasty but yeah that was it y'all so i just want to see, do a little recap this vlog is actually going up today so today is sunday november the 28th so i'm on my way back home to finish editing and add this little clip to it i just got finished eating with my sister and because she is going back out of town i mean she's going back home today for christmas though i do plan on doing like a christmas eve little shindig where we can play games have some fun with the kids so i do want to be more intentional with what games we can play also because i just had some games in the um in the closet that i've had from like us previously playing games other holidays so i want to get some games so we can you know just be occupied and just different things like that um now you guys let me just tell y'all in advance, I am not doing Vlogmas. Now, the reason why I'm not going to do Vlogmas is because I just had to be realistic, which is something that I really don't be being with myself. I don't be realistic and knowing that it's just too much. And with my life the way that it is, like with twins and their babies and they're not in daycare and I still work, I have a nine to five and things like that is just not realistic for me to do vlogmas because that consists of me having to record daily and edit daily upload daily and that's just a lot so what i decided to do i'm gonna do 12 days of christmas so i'm gonna pretty much do from december the 14th so from december the 14th to december the 25th i'm gonna be uploading daily so that's just how i'm gonna do it so that within itself will probably be a lot but it's not gonna be as bad as trying to do 25 days straight so that's what i'm gonna do so y'all will still get a video 
um, every Wednesday and Sunday up until December the 14th. And then starting December the 14th, I'm going to be uploading daily up until December the 25th. And then after that, I'm going on a break. I'm going on a break. So the next upload that y'all probably will get will be after New Year's, honestly. <laughs> because, yeah. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. Do not forget to comment. I appreciate you guys so, so much. We are a small little community right now. We're a small little family. And, and I just appreciate y'all. I appreciate whoever clicks on this video and watch it. I just appreciate you so much. So thank you for watching this video, you guys. And I will see you guys Wednesday.